Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are good. Today we will solve a new problem, let's call the problem 12. Uh, it's called integer to Roman, it's of medium level. And our uh, target is to convert the number from integer form like this number into Roman form. Okay, we have some rules like uh, I represent number one, V represent five, X 10, L 50 and so on. We have this list. Also, uh, it starts from left to right. Left will be the higher simple and right it will be the smallest simple. I will show you some examples soon. Except for some cases where it's 4 or 9 or 40 and 90 or 400 and 900, there are some special cases. For example, 4, we will use I before V. The small number before the big number It's like one month. My, uh, subtracted from 5 it will be 4 this is, is like 1 subtracted from 10 it will be 9 and this is 10 subtracted from 50 it will be 40 and this is like 10 subtract, subtracted from 100 will be 90 and this is like 100 subtracted from 500 it's 400 and this is like 100 subtracted from 1000 will be 900 okay and this sample can be appended consecutively at most three times. So the range, as you see, is from 1 to 3,999. Okay, given this example, we start from top left to the right. This 1,000 is easy, it's N. So we start, put N. This 600 is like 500 and 100, but we start from the big number, then small number. So we will put D and then we will put C. Okay. And this 60 is like 50 and 10. So we we'll put L and we'll put X. And this 6 is like 5 and 1. So we we'll put V, sorry, and we we'll put I. So it will be MDCLXVI. This um, uh, number in integer, this is equivalent number in Roman style. How about this one, 1900? We will put M for the 1000, but that 900, we don't have something for 900 here. And it says 900, it will be CN. M is 1000 and C100, so it's 100 subtracted from 1000. So we'll put C, M. So this number will be M, C, M. You see M is big, here is smaller, then again bigger. This only is happen for some special cases mentioned here. But if we want to write the code to solve this problem, we, for only for this kind of uh, conversion, it's easy. We just divide it like this by by this number 1000 and how many times 1000 for example if we have 2000 and 100 it will be 2100 2, divided by 1000 the answer will be 2 the integer division so we see 1000 its character is m so we put 2 m's very easy 2 multiplied by m 2 m's and then we do Reminder division it's 100 so what's remaining is 100 and we divide it We can do integer division by 500 it will give us 0 We don't add anything then integer division by 100 it will give us 1 so we will put 1c My point is only if this is only the rule it's easy We do the division by the number if it's give us 0 we don't add anything if it gives us a number we add this character uh as, ma as many the number times as it is. For example, here is 2, so we add 2 amps. But when it comes to 9 and 4, we have, we kind of, we may think we need to do some if statement. And it's true, we can do if statement and solve it this way, but there's a better way. Let's assume our list is bigger. Let's assume we have also for 900, we have something called cm for 400 we have something called cd for example 90 we have something called xc 
So let's assume our list is bigger and contain all these possibilities. And we come very easy. We do integer division by 1,900, 500, 400. And what's give us as answer, it will be the character itself. And the reminder, we will use it later to do another division. Maybe my explanation is very clear. When we go to the coding and we write the code, it will be more clear to you. So let's start coding. So here I started, I created the whole list, including all the special cases. Like if, if the number is divisible by 1000, we add M as many times at, as how many 1000 it have. After that, let's say the remaining is 990. So is it dividable by 900? If yes, then we add CM and so on. So very simple, we start with the result equal empty string and we do iteration to this created list for n as number and sym as simple in integer to roman, okay? And I want it to be in reverse order. So we can use a reverse keyword or we just write it like this. Minus one is same idea, minus one, not minus a. Same idea, it's we will iterate through this list, but in reverse, we start from big number and then we go to small number. Okay, and we simply say result equal result plus simple multiplied by num integer division by n. So for example, if we have 3000, First time, the n, it will be this one, 1,000. So 3,749 divided by 1,000 will give us 3. Will give us a 3. And this 3, we will multiply it by the simple n. And since this is a string, what we'll do when we multiply a string by a number, it will be repeated as many times as the number. So if this answer is 0, it will be nothing, and which is good. But in this case, this number is a three. So the letter M will be repeated three times and it should be repeated three times because we have 3000. Each M is 1000. And then what we do, we will update our number to be the reminder. So N reminder of the N. So what's division by thousand? What's the reminder? It will be 749. In the next iteration, 749 will be integer div division by 900 and will give us zero and it should give, give us zero because we don't have 900 to put cm after m okay but here m will be one and then 994 uh, division by 900 will give us also one so it will be the character m then cm this cm for 900 as you see here and this one for 1000 from here and the reminder will be 94 and the code will work so on i hope it's clear i think it's it's not that difficult so simply after that we just return the result let's test it and yeah it works you see here one is m 900 is cm and 90 90 where's 90 is xc and four four is iv so it looks correct so Let's take this code and go to the late code and test it there because in the late code uh, it do so many tests more than what I have here and see if it's correct or not. Let me submit. There's network error. So I refresh the browser. Sometimes it happens. So we just refresh our browser and I paste the code here. Okay, submit. Did I submit it? Do I have network issue? I might have network issue. So the issue, it was I was not signed in, so it cannot let me submit unless I'm signed in. So I signed in now, so let me submit now and see. And yeah, very well. Time complexity good, memory complexity good, and it's worked successfully. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next code.